train to Riga. Off we go. But by Resigna. So, we have just got off our three and a half hour train from Resigna to Riga, and now we have four hours to wait for our 13 hour bus. We're now currently trying to go to a shopping centre that is open hopefully until 11 pm. So, time now is half past seven, so we've got a long time because our bus is at just after midnight from Riga bus station. just arrived in Warsaw. How was your bus journey? Yeah, it was all right. I think you slept better than I did. 13 hours, curled up like a fetus. Thank you very much. My neck gave me a bit of grief, but no, it was fine. It was now fine. we're waiting for a connecting bus to Krakow. So we've yeah. got four hours, topped up in some water. Had some food, and then get to Krakow quite nicely to have a bit of an afternoon. Big up the green flicks. Let's see you in Krakow. Just getting a bolt on our way to the Atlantis. I need a week. So do I. Well then, you're gonna do fine. Thank you. And we're in Warsaw. No, we're not. No. Hello, Krakow. <laughs> Hello, Krakow. <laughs> We've just got to Krakow. We've just had a very, very long journey. On the bus, about 15 hours, I reckon, in total. Delays and whatnot. It was a Flix bus, really, really lovely. Yeah. Wi-Fi was absolutely appalling. As soon as we got into the way, so that's besides the point. Didn't need his Wi-Fi. I tried to sleep. I need my beauty sleep. As you can see, it's not going well for me. As we get into Warsaw, the bus driver decides to smash straight into a black Audi. I felt really sorry for the guy because he had about 40 people on the bus, all different languages. Secondly, we then turn up late for the departure, the getting on, and then our next bus that we were due to get on was then 45 minutes late. We then had to wait for that one, we weren't sure which one, and because we put our bags underneath the coach, me being me, I was very, very anxious because they're I like to stolen. make sure I can see my luggage at all times. We've got to grab no, a bolt taxi straight to the Atlantis Hostel, which is where we're staying. Quite quiet, just out of town. The bolt driver decides to talk to us about his hometown and Patrick's seating arrangement. As soon as we got into the taxi, he decided that he wouldn't move his chair and actually he would lay down for the ride. Pretty much. Um, and it was absolutely hilarious. I could have given him a massage. I was just wetting myself. I had so much room. We had to listen to Burner Boy the whole way there and it was the most hilarious bulk ride. Now we're heading on our way to the old town to have a little look at sunset. And we're currently, as you can see, walking through the city. And it's lovely. We're happy that we're here. And tomorrow we have Auschwitz, which is very interesting. And I think it's going to be an eye opener. Be careful not to get run over. Good All right, job. we'll see you in the historic square.
we've got a morning croissant and coffee and we are on our way now to Auschwitz Museum. How did you sleep last night? Well, uh, a guy decided to come into the room, start playing party music to try and convince his friend to get back out of bed. Kyle had none of it and I was up all night. Loved it. Was it really? Yep. I was out like a lot. I had the best night's sleep, I tell you what. It's now lovely here. We're currently walking through Central Square. It's lovely. All right, we'll check in with you in a bit. Thank you. 